gon' chew me, cause the showtime. Go ahead and call the gang up for the one time. Rap food rhymes, got them on the line. And my life's still great, I'm doing just fine. Hands up. So moving into our discussion points for today. So we're going to start off with Crunchyroll. So Crunchyroll has been getting some heat the past couple months. Recently, they've gotten some heat because Crunchyroll has removed the comment section from um, the streaming service. They are keeping the rating system in place, but all history, um, any comments from this year, last year, or 10 years ago are gone, and nobody will be able to post comments on anime episodes or articles. I think it's both episodes and articles. Um, They also got some heat for uh, reading the article. They basically got heat for considering using AI for their subtitles. As far as March 2024, it was clarified that Crunchyroll is not using AI in their subtitling, but the idea was brought up. And as you know, as that goes, if Crunchyroll does decide to use anime in their subtitling, that will replace the human translators that they have that are currently doing the subtitles for the animes on the platform. So, so I'm going to add a little bit of extra background to the AI section as an anime fan. I can't remember how many months ago it was. It was around the time when I was playing Baldur's Gate 3 and I was playing playing it around its peak when it released on consoles. There was a translator, and I believe she worked for Crunchyroll, who, you know, put the subtitles. And there was a lot of backlash because a lot of people recognized that she added her own political opinion into her translations and certain okay. words that were utilized by the Japanese when translated to English, she personally deemed it as inappropriate or not aligning with her views and what should be presented in America. It wasn't Crunchyroll the business that decided that they just trust her translations. Mm -hmm. And it came out that she was doing that. She took pride in that. And to my knowledge, I knew her name back then, but I forgot. I don't know if she still works there. I don't know. I can't remember if Crunchyroll dropped a um, public address for it and apologized or anything. But that is why as an anime fan, not with my business, Oh, I want to I want to strengthen the economy finance hat on just as an anime fan where I'm like, I kind of am for the AI, even though AI can have some biases and all of that built into it as well. But not my business hat, just an anime fan hat because. I... Go ahead, mm-hmm. finish, your, finish your thought. Oh, because as an anime fan, I recognize that Japan has a different culture, different politics, different histories, different views on things from my American view, let alone my black race as an american view and i don't want that to be filtered and altered by someone else's perspective because i'm watching japanese anime as a fan of japanese anime and their culture i mm-hmm. want to see the messaging and the and the imagery that they wanted to present to me you shouldn't have the ability to switch that for me especially if it's not on behalf of the company if it was the company doing it and they verified that and they stood behind that then mm-hmm. i'll be like i'm just sick of Crunchyroll. can i find another alternative in another company that translates but this was one person who took that initiative when your job, I assumed, would have been to give honest translations to the best accuracy and efficiency that you have and based on your resources that you have available to you. And we wasn't getting that. We got your own political views. Nobody, I didn't ask for that. As an but, does, but does AI solve that, though? Because you've, you stated in your argument that AI can be built with biases inside of it. So, but, so does firing all of the translators and replacing it with AI fix it? It depends on how the AI is utilized and what data is put into it. Because if you're using raw translation data, and this is where the bias can come in play. If you use raw data for this Japanese character means this word, this phrasing and this slang means this in English, then cool. But if you set it to where the AI red flags certain words, whether they're deemed offensive to a certain group in America, and then Mm -hmm. you tell that AI, please replace that, then it's just as bad as the translator. But hopefully, y'all ain't going that far in the AI. If you don't go that far in the AI, then the bias is essentially eliminated because it's just a direct translation. Or it could just be flawed, but that's not bias. 
So even then, if we decide to fire all the translators and use AI, are we trusting AI that is going to give us, give us an accurate translation of what's happening? Because we talked about this on the last episode with the Apple AI stuff that with like with them trying to use AI to generate scripts that we still want people to go behind the AI and fix things and tweak things. So fire the translators, do we trust the upfront translation from the AI or do are, are we still going to need somebody to come behind the AI and make sure that this translation is correct and it's accurate? So if my tech business had on, we need both, obviously. The AI mm-hmm. can make a lot of their jobs easier and they can just come behind and make sure everything aligns. Both my anime fan hat on and that specific lady in general, I just don't appreciate what she did with it. I don't but want I, people to get fired and lose their jobs, but I feel like Crunchyroll need to set some restrictions or some guidelines or make like a promise openly as a company that regardless of what is being translated, we will translate the message that these Japanese artists wanted to present. I just feel like the solution that you're suggesting is is not going to solve the initial problem. Because if 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 we're, if we're if we're gonna put the business hat on and say that we we need both. What's stopping the person coming behind the AI and doing the same thing the lady just did? We just, we just now, we just have an extra step in place. The AI did it first, and now somebody can come behind the AI and be like, well, I don't like the way you translated that. Well, I don't like the way the AI wrote that sentence. And now we're back where we started. And and that's what I'm saying. That's where the company has to set restrictions, and we need some quality assurance. Like, so, we need some what, people who are but saying... What does, but I'm saying, what does automation... If they have to do that anyway... They can do that now with the people, with the translators that they have. They could fire her appropriately because that's, you know, you're harming the integrity of the of the company. We can do that now. We can put things in place now, policies, procedures, restrictions for the people who are there now. What does what does adding automation, what does adding AI do for that that they can't do now? Speed and efficiency, because it makes backtracking easier. Like, it's one thing if by hand, and I don't know their processes, more than likely they already have some type of tech. But speed and efficiency doesn't seem like the problem. We're adding AI to, but that's not the problem. Speed and efficiency doesn't seem like the problem. Well, that's why I have two hats on. As an anime fan, I'm like, F her. If y'all ain't finna do nothing to fix that, get rid of all them folks in there. And that's where I support the messaging of, use ai despite whether or not bias may be integrated into the ai because to my knowledge google and apple's ai doesn't seem to have much bias in it when it comes to translations now my business and and my business had is hey y'all need to make a public announcement y'all need to get rid of her because she's ruined y'all's image and makes it seem like y'all ain't doing y'all ain't trust y'all ain't y'all don't have enough trust from the fans to actually translate these japanese works of art and then if y'all want to keep the AI or whatever AI y'all are utilizing, utilize it for automation and speed, but y'all still need to do something about her. At the end of the day, anime fans are mad about what she's did as a translator because and, your and politics I, and I shouldn't be in there. And I get that 100% that the core problem of translators inputting their biases and beliefs when translating um, these Japanese animes into English subtitles I agree with that. I just don't feel like AI is going to solve that problem. Mm-hmm. I, I don't feel I, like it'll I solve the entire problem. Yeah. I understand that on the initial translation that we'll get something that we're not it's not starting with the human, but I still feel like I feel like even though AI is rising up and then this is the big thing, I just don't feel like we should just blindly trust AI to make accurate translations. Somebody still got to go behind and check it to make sure that the stuff is right. And even then, then we're back, then we're back at square one that some, we could end up hiring a AI assistant at Crunchyroll who is inputting their biases and beliefs behind this AI because they don't like the way the AI translated it. And that's what, and that's why we just need quality assurance. Like that's why. So the and, and real, I don't I feel, so, the, so the real, I feel like the real solution is, the real solution is that 
I know it's a lot of animes. I know this might seem like a lot, but right, quality assurance, but not on the translator part. We need somebody at the top. We need somebody to be like, hey, you're in charge of, you know, these shonen animes. I need you to go behind before we put out this subtitle episode and just, you know, take a look at it. Or something. I I get it. I just feel like even if we add AI, there is still room for human error and people to input their biases. I I don't know. Maybe we, I don't know. She said, "I ain't finna jump in that that whirlpool of anime fans." Because she said, "I know how they get." <laughs> but I, I'm I'm just saying I'm just saying though. I feel like, and I don't think there's any fault to Crunchyroll that they trusted their translators to translate these animes. Yeah. Um, for for the fans, I don't think it's their fault of their own for trusting their staff. But I feel like if the issue was coming into where you can't trust your staff, I don't think AI is going to help that trust because then there's a lot of people that don't trust AI. Yeah. Hon- so where is so where's the final so where's the final check? So before we put this episode out, where's the final check? Who do you trust? to look this over and be like, this is a-okay. And that's where a good quality assurance team, like when you break it down and you also have the people who come into the business and like, let's start, let's start with hiring. Cause if you go into your HR department and you have, have you ever taken one of those bias C test? I did it at work, but did they ever do that on your, on your side of things? There's bias C tests that, that will like from as small as look at this image and how do you interpret it? And what do you think this person is doing behind this cape or whatever? And then there's biasy tests that will show you certain faces. It can figure out your politics. It can show you your bias for a certain race, your bias for a certain sex, how classes you are. There are some very distinct biasy tests. And I feel like Crunchyroll needs to integrate that into their hiring, especially for translators. Because either y'all are going to commit to delivering the Japanese messaging from their shows, or you're going to commit to commit to showing a Americanized version of that show and what it should be telling you. And I think don't no anime fan want that. And if we found out that that's what they've been doing, I feel like most anime fans would be disappointed. Because I, show me what they had. I would agree. I think more and they could already be doing it. It could just be one of those things where they, you know, it, it's this not... fell through the cracks. Yeah, it's not left left field for something to fall through the cracks. Mm -hmm. It's not left field for you to hire somebody and then two, three years later, now they off their rocker. Something happened and now they have a completely different personality than when you first hired them. That's true too. Like she could have been there for like 10 years and like at first five years she was true and honest, but now she found her favorite politician or somebody to follow. Exactly. If you think of all the things that are going on in the world now, people's views change and and i'm not saying like people being flip floppy but i'm just like you learn new things you you gain new perspectives you get new beliefs based on your experiences and what you're going through in life now with that being said her whether she got this was her first day here or her third year here very un- unprofessional of you to go into your workplace and implement that into yeah, your own political yeah so but yeah, it could Crunchyroll could already be doing that and if they if they aren't, I think that could be a good start on your hiring process for translators, but I still feel like even once they get into the groove of things, it's got to be somebody who's looking at the stuff at the end. You get you have to. You got to now. Yeah. You have you to have to. somebody who's got to come at the end and give it a stamp of approval that gives it the Crunchyroll stamp of approval. That somebody from Crunchyroll looked over this and said, and take, you know, responsibility and take accountability that this is okay before we ship it out. I just don't feel like AI is going to solve that problem. I yeah. agree with the I agree with the speed and efficiency that it may, you know, we may be able to churn out episodes faster if we put it through the AI first, but even then you still need somebody to go behind it. It makes that sure validation that it's, process still needs to be there. With a it human still touch. needs to be some type of validation. We just don't need to blindly trust the AI. 
It makes it faster. Yeah. Sure. Makes it more efficient. Sure. It leaves it, it, you know, takes out a couple more steps to the process, but we cannot blindly rely on it. If if we having issues with the humans, we damn sure gonna have issues with the machine. <laughs> she said this Terminator anime gonna show y'all. I can see them doing a different villain. Um, Doctor Doom is essential to Secret Wars, so if they wanted to just kick out Kang and just introduce Doctor Doom sooner, um, that's fine. I honestly want to know how that's gonna.